Vancouver, you don't see much in the way of local initiatives because it's so, it's so difficult. Frankly, the uh, permitting and, and engineering requirements for doing anything, even a mural on a wall in Vancouver, are staggering. The, the cost and the, the paperwork is uh, intimidating just to do anything at all. I mean, they, they have, there's cities like Miami which have enormous amounts of interesting street art and tremendous tourist draws, but you don't see that here because the people, I guess, feel they don't need to worry about tourists or for an investment too much in Vancouver anymore. And I have a lot of wonderful friends who help me out when times are open when I need to, and, uh, and it's tremendous to, to, to send a few emails and phone calls and have a crew of wonderful people turn out and, and uh, help me build this. You know? My name's Nathan Sanch. I'm a Red Seal welder, and I worked with Ron on this project. Nathan is an expert fabricator and welder, and he welded the frame for the bug for me. He's got a long history with the community locally as, as being part of the, the tiny house project, making tiny houses for various installations. Did uh, a little bit of creative consulting and problem solving between the two of us. We managed to figure out uh, how to get this thing happening. He's an all-around wonderful person, really, in terms of being able to, to drop of a hat, pick up something, and make it work, and, and install stuff safely and correctly. He's a really great guy, actually. I enjoyed working with him a lot. I've known Chris Harrison for, for a long time. He's actually a very, very good auto mechanic. He's made some excellent uh, art out of old car parts, uh, flaming butterflies and flaming flowers and that kind of thing out of uh, junk car parts. He's, a, he's an artist in his own right. Jody's a wonderful woman. We, we did the Musical Swings project at Burning Man a couple of years ago, and Jody was on the crew with a bunch of other wonderful people. We did this uh, almost impossible job of taking this huge swing set with bells on it to, to Burning Man and uh, erected it there and made it work. She's actually the, the sort of the cheerleader for the crew. She really makes people happy and enjoy life no matter how miserable and down things look. Ron's a super awesome artist and I love helping him put his shit up wherever it happens to be. So this I help with some painting and just general grunt labor. Uh, you see how glistening white these eyeballs are? I help with that. Yeah. One of the layers that was put on was put on by me. You drive by and you see those beady eyes looking down at you. <laughs> Dan, of course, he, his day job is a millwright. He's a millwright, but he's also excellent at installing art. He's installed many large uh, art projects around Vancouver, such as the, the, the Brass Rocking Dog, which was at uh, Grandma Island, and he's done many installations for other, other artists. And he's very, very safe and he's very well organized, and he knows exactly what he's doing. That's why I asked him along to, to help me do this. Dan gets stabbed in the leg by the uh, sharp pointy bits on one of the legs. Somebody is near death from my art. Anyway, I hope people in the neighborhood like it. People over there are yelling out their windows if they like it. It's a done deal. It was a lot of work getting it up there, but I think we finally, finally accomplished it. It's not exactly as planned and not exactly perfect, but in my, the world I work in, not everything gets done perfectly right every time. So it's, uh, it's on there and it's established and it's according to engineering specifications. And uh, to my knowledge, it's all done, been done according to plan. Trathcona, to me, appears to be an up and coming arts district. Arts and creative people lo love this area and they're moving here. And in my experience, all, all the good arts districts in the world, whether you're in Los Angeles or New York or, or, or Miami or Berlin or wherever, it, it, it always features good street art. This, uh, I hope someday maybe Strathcona will be made better by good art. I'd like to thank all the wonderful people who helped me build and install this, this creature. I couldn't do any of my art without the help of all my friends who are involved in the, the community that makes and builds and does things creatively locally. Next iteration of the tag, tag beetle might be anywhere because everything that I've yeah, seemed to do is just temporary. The, I don't think I've ever built anything which is permanent. Everything is on temporary loan or in temporary installation somewhere, and uh, the, the attack beetle on the building here, uh, Bigger Labs, is exactly that description. It's a temporary installation. Uh, everything in life I do is, seems to be temporary, and, and nothing is permanent, so that's, that's the way we, we have to live here, I guess, in Vancouver. <laughs>